This week we're going to have a look at Joomla 1.5, the new beta version of Joomla. Um, okay. We covered that, it's got to be about 20, or, 20 or 30 episodes looking at uh, version 1. Now I don't know, some of you may be aware that our website is actually um, a Joomla content management system itself and it serves us pretty well. I'm, yeah, it's I'm, pretty good. Eh? I'm, I'm, I'm what version is that? It's version 1.13, the okay. latest patch version. Um, but obviously Joomla 1.5 is coming out and uh, it's been in beta for a little while now so we're going to take a look at the beta version, it's still not fully released and I, it hasn't got a fixed release date as of yet but um, I thought it was worth looking at and sort of covering because I know that the last time we did it we didn't um, go through sort of the administrative back end stuff in very much detail mm -hmm. and that was really what I think a lot of people were actually right. interested in, in looking for so that's what we'll cover. So what we'll do is we'll focus more on actually doing something useful with the website and getting it up and running. So the question I want to always ask because I, I don't deal with our website at all is... No, no you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if I want to... How, I mean how do we go about creating our website? Is, so we, we need some web space with what in particular? What, well, what we're going to do is we're going to run it in a sort of a test environment uh -huh. here. But you can go and buy pretty much any cheap entry-level hosting package. So it's anything that's is Linux or... Yeah, it's, it's, it's got to be a, a Linux-based sort gotcha. of environment, you know. Um, but they all are a, a MySQL, Apache, sure. PHP. And quite often you can actually have Joomla as a pre-installed configuration. Gotcha. So sometimes they'll pre-install it for you. A lot of the time you get your hosting package and then from the, from the control panel there's a, an option to install or deploy. Or you can just upload the, uh, the file as... The video I just showed you. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> so... Uh, Yes, uh, might as well just, I think, just dive straight yeah. in. This is what a Joomla install is going to give you if you install the, um, basically all the sample data that comes with it, which is quite useful if you're going to play around with it, you know, actually play, have a play around with it at home. Uh -huh. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll start by going straight in. Um, I've got my administrative details saved away, and we'll go in and take a look at it. So immediately we can sort of see we've got this nice clean interface that... I guess at first might seem a bit intimidating because where do I start, what do I do? Um, so out of the box, this is what we're going to get as an install. If we now go into, let's go take a look at uh, some of the settings. So in our global configuration, this was previously a file based uh, configuration. So you had to be very, very careful with locking these files down and protecting them and making sure they had certain read write accesses. The whole idea of this new version of Joomla is it's a complete rewrite with okay. security based in mark, you know, uh, with security I think being their number one forethought. Certainly things on the old versions it had to have um, certain settings in PHP to be compatible that really these days are just a no-no. Right. You know, global variables, you've probably heard of things yeah. like that. I used to use them a lot. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, so th protecting you from things like SQL injection and essentially anyone trying to hack your site. I mean, that's the idea of the complete rewrite from the ground up. So we've got this this configuration, and a lot of this we set up um, in the server side as part of the installation. So mail settings, database, uh, the actual server itself, FTP is now built into it. 